Hey guys, we are here at the 2024 King of the Hammers. My name is Scott Durkin. Behind me is the Trail Reaper, and we're here to have some fun. So the Trail Reaper is a 2006 LJ. Um, it's mostly modified and changed. Uh, just the frame rails tub is still there. It uh, currently has a uh, Dana 60 front, a corporate 14 bolt in the rear, uh, Atlas 4 transfer case. Still have the uh, four liter inline six power plant, but I have a one liter Sprintec supercharger on there. Um, we're running uh, Mickey Thompson 43 um, XS's and uh, Dirty Life wheels. So here at KOH, um, our team utilizes this car because it can get through the desert uh, pretty fast. This is where this car was born and bred. Um, and uh, so I've been coming out here for 13 years and know the courses pretty well. So they utilize me to move uh, cameras around. So what you watch on TV is because we've gone out there and, and gotten those shots. So what I have on the Reaper is uh, American Iron's ball joint delete system. And it is one of those unsung heroes, something that's so easy to overlook. People ask you what axles you're running, but just because you've got a Dana 60 on there doesn't mean it's necessarily strong. Those things have weak points. I'm running a Dana 60 and one of its weakest points is the ball joints and the upper ball joints. And I've destroyed them out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and that was a problem for me and because I like to be running the trails and having a good time and be back at camp, you know, uh, relaxing and not under my car trying to fix it or figure out how to get it off the trail. So I went to the American Iron Ball Joint Delete System and the biggest reason I went with them was they replace the upper and the lower. It's not just one side or the other. They use the highest end uh, components and since then, and you guys have probably seen what I do to this poor car, I've never failed one. And so like they keep me running hard and I can do it with confidence. If you haven't seen, I do like to run this car fast. I mean, the, the reason uh, it's built the way it is is from being involved in Ultra 4 um, and I like the rocks, but I like to go fast too. And uh, so I'll run this thing as hard as I can through the whoops and I do love to jump the car. So um, currently the far, the biggest jump it's done right now is, is 75 feet. I'm, I'm ultimately trying to get to that 100 mark. So I just got to find the right jump uh, to do it. And, uh, and I will we'll jump this thing with confidence over and over again. I've been trying to break the delete system for two years with this car, with being in the rocks, going through the whoops, and jumping this thing as hard as I can. In fact, the reason I'm jumping it as, as, as big as I'm, I am now is because I'm so much more confident with those ball joints holding because I was always worried when I'd go big that that thing would collapse. And if it did, it'd be a catastrophic failure if that front end folds as you're landing and end up going end over end. So I've been able to send it so much harder and yet to break the darn things. So when I put them in, I was expecting the steering characteristics to change. I wasn't sure if the, how this was gonna affect um, my on-road uh, characteristics as well, because this isn't just an off-road car. I drive it around town, I street it, and take it out here in the desert. I was concerned that there was gonna be a compromise in that, and uh, I just never was there. It feels exactly the same, but I know that it's twice as strong. Over the last two years, I've been running the delete system. Of course, I'm out here off-road. You guys get to see that. But like I said, I'm driving around town. Um, I live in the mountains. We get snow, we get you know rain, we get mud, um, and mountain road driving. And uh, it's never caused me a problem. I wheel them in the snow, um, in the ice, in the rain, the mud, hose them off no problems i've never had steering characteristics you know cause a problem whether it gets cold whether it's really hot um it corners well handling it in the car is not changed um and i haven't had any type of corrosive problems or having to uh change stuff out cracking uh, due to temperature uh, fluctuations so it's a great product um it's a reliable product and uh, i wouldn't be afraid to use it anywhere in the country everything i run on the reaper is deliberate. I don't put anything on there that I don't think can hold up to the task because it doesn't do me any good 
And so everything that's on this car, I would recommend to anybody that is out there. That being said, I've got the delete system on this car. I 100% recommend it. And if you're thinking about it, if you're looking for more strength, don't hesitate. Get these things on your car. It'll be one of the best things you've done.